<laughs> so normally I don't really come up here and respond to anything like this but you know I feel a little compelled in my spirit to do it with as much love as possible um I saw a video of Marcus Rogers a very large preacher um mainly on YouTube he has a large platform on YouTube um but his ministry touches other parts that's not even recorded but besides that um he has a video uh he has like a screenshot on his Instagram page about pulling a snack a snake out of a woman's bat and <laughs> you know I went on I went on YouTube I saw the video everything in the video my spirit was in agreement with um but it's it's funny because when I'm scrolling I just see all these other videos attacking him and you know what's sad it's sad that people don't understand the judgment that can come against their life just by opening their mouth against a prophet like let me tell you something In the body of Christ, there is the most condemnation and division and jealousy and envy. And there's no unity for you to have to get up here and make a video about this man. Let me, let me explain something to you, right? First and foremost, there's multiple types of prophets. But mainly when it comes to a seer prophet, God shows them things that you won't be able to see. They discern things that you won't be able to discern. And this is why it's so important to have unity in a body. Because what the head cannot do, I'm, I'm sorry, what the, what the arm can't do, the hand can do. What the neck can't do, the head can do. You understand what I'm saying? So we don't even understand how, how much the enemy wants this division how it's like people claiming they're from ministry to come up here and speak against this man. Are you serious? Like is I don't I don't this is not real. Because see the the deception is not with him pulling a snake out of a woman's back. The deception with you is thinking that God is not exposing things like this in this day and time. Do you understand how real warfare is? Do you understand how real demonic spirits are? And for you to probably speak through one against this man, it's very ignorant. It's it's very disheartening to see someone that claims they're in ministry rise against another man of God. Someone who is in the body of Christ. I don't care how you feel about him. If you are really a man or a woman of God, you go to Christ about that man. Whatever flaw you see, whatever, whatever you think it is, you go to God. And if you're wrong, God will correct you. And if you're right, it's not your business to sit here and make a video about him. What's wrong with you? Do you understand like how bad you make yourself look? Because I really think it's like clout chasing. Because you know that his name is on this platform. You know that he has a very large platform on YouTube. And you might not have as many followers as him. So it bothers you. So now you got to add his name in a video to try to make him look bad. No. Anybody that truly has the Holy Spirit will discern that this man is a man of God. I don't care how many mistakes he made. I don't care what what you think he did. First of all, we're in this suit of flesh. So there's always going to be something that is off. And then this is where God comes in and correct us. But for us to try to condemn this man. Sweetheart, he pulled a snake out of that woman's back. I don't have to have the footage to know. I'm talking about what I've seen as a woman of God, the demons, the principalities that have been revealed through the Holy Ghost. That man seen what he's seen and God showed him. He showed him. And you know what? The enemy was so cunning that he tried to send the confusion. 
because he didn't want that woman to get free. Whoever she is, she's somebody mighty in the kingdom. And this is the problem. We, we don't support each other enough. Our hearts are so hardened towards each other that we can't even help each other get free. It's sad. So long story short, because I'm getting off of here. If you know you spoke against this man, Marcus Rogers, repent. Repent. Because God is not playing about him. I'm telling you. Let me explain something to you. I have a godly fear towards anybody that is operating in the Holy Ghost. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? That's a dangerous game to play. Because you're speaking against one of God's called and chosen children. <laughs> Repent, I'm telling you. This is this is this is not me proclaiming a curse or nothing like that. No, these are words of wisdom. Repent, because I'm telling you, if if you don't, the judgment of God will touch you. Yeah, it's yeah, because he he he's not playing about his children. He's not playing about his prophets. He's not playing about anyone who is filled with this Holy Spirit. 